Looks like our fields are ready for harvest. What's going on everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are going to try to get this heli at this header all the way out to where we need to go without crashing. So you know I'm going to crash. So that's good to get out of the way ahead of time. Oh, this is going to be a real tough spot right here. Come on. Easy, easy. Come on. Oh, I actually made that. No way. Oh, that's awesome. We got the cotton ready to go here to our left. Unfortunately, uh, as you guys are watching, this cotton DLC has been released, but at the time of recording, it hasn't been released yet. So we're waiting on that. I'm getting everything together for it. But between now and then, we have sunflowers to get out. Oh yeah, we got some sunflowers to get out. We've also got oats. Uh, I've got another field of grass. Ooh, we're hitting some bumps here. I'm gonna get off the road. We've got some grass, but I haven't decided if I'm gonna cut that today or if we're gonna hang out and wait. Let's go ahead and get that, spin around. Oh, of course I would put it in the middle of all this. Can we even hook up? Oh yeah, no, that was easy. Never mind. Okay. Yep, we're good. <laughs> Let's jump in here. So this has been modified a little bit. Just not, you know, not too much, just enough for me to be happy with it. There we go. So the great thing about these Helianthus headers are they can go way faster. Now, of course the one I have can go <laughs> fast. But the ones that you got normal, if you're not editing anything, they can still go nine miles an hour, which is three miles an hour faster than the six miles an hour that a corn header can go, which can also cut these. Here's the thing to think about there. That is, wait for it, 50% faster. Now, I remember watching one of Mr. Silly P's videos way, way back when. I'll see what I can do uh, to find it and link it for you guys. But he made a video about the difference between corn headers, corn headers and helianthus headers. Basically said, it's 50% faster. Anything that's 50% faster or 50% better is a huge difference. So why would you not use these? Now, of course, ours, well, it goes 32 miles an hour. There's, there's no way around that. <laughs> it goes way faster. Funny enough, I made this header for our good buddy, uh, new boot goofing. Hashtag, hashtag BJ. I made this for him to use on Doll Ranch. He had got field six and was freaking out. But this is right here. Made this for him and I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull it out of my mods folder and we are gonna use it on this field right here because this field is absolutely massive. Now, sunflowers, you do get quite a good amount of them, but you don't get a whole lot, not normally anyway. However, we're already up to almost 12,000 liters and we're not even done with our headland yet. I imagine we'll get somewhere around 20 to 21,000 liters off of one headland. And then I'm just gonna hire a worker, let them do their thing. I might do both of these fields simultaneously. I'm still kind of going back and forth with it. Do we do both fields at the same time? Do we not? I've got an oat field. As you know, oats fill up pretty quickly. So we might hold off on that just so that this guy right here gets everything he needs. So with that being said, let's go ahead and finish this headland. Let's find out what we're getting. Our two headlands are done and I'm gonna go ahead and hit this panhandle down here, just getting everything. Oh, come on, one little sprig. Pow, pow, got it. Okay, so we've got that panhandles done. I do need to clean this little bit up right here, just a hair. And we've also got a bit at the top that we need to get. So let's put this down to and turn it on. Good, good, good. Got that. And I'm just gonna kind of cut this until it gets to the top of this ridge right here. Kind of see a little ridge right there at the top right hand corner of your screen. Now it's about dead center. I just want to hit this and get enough to where when I'm hiring the worker here in just a second and I hire them to do the whole field, they don't look at it go, oh, you you, you want me to do that, like that whole thing or just like this part over here? I don't want there to be any questions at all. I just want the worker to work. There we go. We've got that curved off. I had one little spot right here that I missed and there's a spot at the top. So what have we got? We have 50,002 liters after getting that entire thing. It's a little bit more than I thought we were going to get. That's roughly about 25,000 liters per headland. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and set this up right here. I am going to go ahead and open this because we're going to go over a truck, bring it up here and go ahead and unload before we set this worker off. Oh, come on. <laughs> Every time I come under here, it's like, nope, nope, nope. Oh, God, you rap ball. Just unload, dude. Come on. <laughs> Seriously? Just, ah. Uh, why? why? Why is this so difficult? just unload i don't care where we're speaking of yes we are on it oh is that a, is that everything no Urgh. 
trying to make it not so unrealistic, but you don't want to just dump it in the darn cut. I about went off on this darn harvester right here. You're not making my day, man. You're not making my day at all. There we go. We've got everything loaded up in the semi truck. Let's hop in here before I sell it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Set this on its way right about here. That ought to do just fine. Let's jump in here and get this truck out of the way so that that doesn't cause us any issues. He's going, 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 and gone, looks like. Is he leaving some? No, don't you tell me he's leaving any. Nope, okay, yep, I was about to say, uh, I'm pretty sure we're harvesting everything. So we've got that. Now let's jump over here to this guy, the oats. Let's go ahead and turn on the helper window here. Disable straw swaths, so that is good. That means it is enabled. That is very good. Let's go and fold everything up. I'm not sure why it's unfolding. There we go. Bring ourselves down here. And also, our money is just going absolutely through the roof right now. We are over $2 million, and we ain't hurting. Not a darn bit. We're not hurting for nothing. Oh, uh-oh. Um, oh, yeah. Um... For some reason, I have wheat in here. Not really sure where it came from, but I've got like 10,000 liters of wheat in here. So I've got to get something. This will work perfect. I was like, I just need something to get that wheat out of there and get it sold. This is going to be perfect. Got it? Boom. So since we don't have any trucks over here right now, I have opted to upgrade this guy right here to the ultimate edition. So now this is, is it just me or is this going a little, I mean, yeah, we're going 21 miles an hour, but up here we're going a little slow. Is the header broken? Uh, it might be. I, I don't know. Here, let's let's find out. I'm gonna roll through here, nice and easy, right there. Yeah, that'll do. Um, yo, this header might be ready to go. Let's let's pop in here and take a look. Boom, right here. Let's see, is this the is this the area right here? There's one of these right here that you can see exactly what your implements are. I think it's over here. They may have taken that. Uh, they may have taken that out. You know what? Oh yeah, I think it's like 42 percent. I've got something over here that I've left uh, because we are gonna build eventually build us a little farm area up here to where we can kind of put our stuff and everything but because of the incline i've been staying away from it right now let's go here let's drop this off just like that and back out of there let's see oh wow yeah yeah we definitely need to repair that okay i think it's repaired yep repair is good now let's jump here pick up on it we should be going our full speed now let's see let's take a look make sure that helper e is doing fine helper e looks good i don't know how much they've got in there right now let's see Guess we could find out. Let's hop in, hop in right here. Enter vehicle. 45% not bad but we can take a little bit more time and let them do the thing so how does about we hit this field right here we don't need to unload the harvester at all i've got a the thing on there it'll hold way more than we're going to get off of this field again i've done that because we don't have another tipper over here right now so let's jump in Let's get this done. There we go, 24 miles per hour. That is our speed that I was looking for right there. Cool, let's hit this. So this guy's almost done and is missing quite a bit. I'm not too crazy happy about that. You can see the little spots here and there being missed. Some of these, I'm not even sure if they are anything. We're gonna roll through and see. Uh, nothing going on there. But this slot right here, they did miss it. And that's a sizable chunk right there as well. That's not just anything. Let's bring this around. We got about 76,000 liters in here right now. Hopefully I don't have a problem. There we go. Get this unloaded. This is gonna unload pretty quick. This right here puts us at 125,000 liters so far for this. Let's hop out of there, hop in the truck just to double check those numbers, make sure everything's good to go. Almost done. Here we go. Yes, 126, hey, that's pretty good, It's pretty good. What do we got done so far? Well, over here, I've gotten all this done, so that's pretty good. And here we're, well, we're probably gonna have to unload her two more times. Once for sure, and another time just to be safe at the end when everything's set and done. Again, we're gonna hit the cotton tomorrow in game whenever we get the new cotton DLC. That's what we're gonna be using, all the new machinery and all the new equipment to get that done. Come right here, hire a worker slowly all right there yeah that, that looks good oh come on why why is it gotta turn and then go back in i i hired you to go straight go there's that let's hop out let's go right here and go back now with this specific field right here I've been doing something a little bit different a way that i have never done harvesting before the way i'm doing this field is i did my two headlands all the way around and then i decided to go in a u-shape 
So I don't know if I can pull this out enough. I'm gonna follow along with this. We're kind of going in a U shape. I did the same way while I was planting this field and it worked really well. And I think, well, if it works well doing that, it must well work well doing harvesting as well. Yes, we're missing a little bit, but we're saving a whole lot of time turning around. Usually this time I would just hire a worker and let the worker do it for us. However, once everything's said and done, we are going to be bailing this straw. Actually, are we gonna be bailing this straw? We're gonna be bailing some of this straw. <laughs> So we're gonna go from there. Also, I don't know if you can hear, it is pouring down rain, absolutely pouring here in the mountains of North Carolina today. Now, thank goodness I'm not moving today because one week from today, or one week from yesterday rather, I will be moving. Oh, I'm very excited about that. So uh, do keep in mind, if you guys are part of the channel, Monday, July 29th, we will have farm sim news and all that good stuff. However, most of that is gonna be recorded elsewhere. Uh, it's gonna be like the July 4th weekend when I ever uh, whenever I had to do all of the videos out of town. Think of it as the same way, except I'll be at a Mexican restaurant because that's where I plan on spending all of my time between uh, between having to leave the house that I'm in now and being able to uh, load into the Airbnb that, that afternoon. Gonna be out of here at 10, can't go in there until three. Well, as you know, all the, and of course that's Eastern Standard Time as well. All the good stuff for Farming Simulator happens within that time frame. So I do have to be careful there. This is what I'm interested about right here is this, oh, that corner. That might be the last time we can take that corner like that. Might have to uh, figure out some way to go from there otherwise. Hey, either way, we're still rocking and rolling. So this field is done. However, the sunflower field is still being worked on as we speak. It's not too far from being completed though. How about we take a look? Okay, so we've got a little bit more here and we are all done here. Oh, this whole thing needs to be limed as well. Yay, don't you just love it? So let's put this up here. Hopefully we don't forget that we actually have something in it. Let's go ahead and cover the top. You know what? Let's leave the top open just in case we forget. Cause guess what? We're probably gonna. Now we need some Something to make some bales because, well, we're gonna sell the bales. Before we get moving, we have, well, we're done. We're absolutely done. This is complete. I'm gonna come right here and totally pass the trailer. What's our pricing right now for sunflowers? We're getting a good price. 2,500 bucks. Hey, I think that's not too terrible at all. Let's go and turn that off. We've got some stuff down where we need to go. However, I need a tractor. This will be perfect. I need a tractor because down there, oh yes, down at the store, We've got ourselves a baler, not just any baler, but it's the baler that I think you guys like just about as much as I do. It's the big windrow baler, the baler that looks just like the uh, the loading wagon that we have. However, this one's special. We've used this on Doll Ranch before. I'm gonna attempt to do 50,000 liter bales. I don't know how many bales we're gonna be able to make. Uh, we will go and attempt to finish the last bale, whatever whatever we get, because there's a chance we could have a bale with 49,000 liters of straw in it. However. We can't use it because it's not a complete bail. No, let's just cut through here. Oh, yeah. We did go with the Fent colors with this one. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, indeed, we did. Uh, I was in the process of making a brand new one of these, actually. Uh, one that would do 10,000 or 12,000 liter bales. But I decided, I was like, yeah, I think it'll be all right. So I decided to go with this instead. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. And let's get it started. Go ahead and unfold and might as well turn it on while we're about right here. So again, keep in mind, these are going to be 50,000 liter bales. That way we don't have to have as many of them. <laughs> It's the way to go right here. This is the way to go, especially with this baler. There's just way, way too many. I mean, legit, there would just be too many bales all over this. I don't think that we have bailed this before. This may be the first time we're actually bailing this field right here. I think it would be kind of cool to do every single field in grass or a, a weed or barley, something like that, and come through and bail up all of the extra and there we go there's our second bell and we have two of them so we have a hundred thousand liters of straw already hanging out back here it's a little much but hey it works it works oh spin it out spin it out another thing is this thing goes incredibly quick we're going what yeah 39 miles an hour right now uh it's just kind of nice because it rocks and rolls this is as fast as this thing will go literally uh this baler will go 62 miles per hour if we really want it to i don't want it to it's way too fast but it could if we wanted so let's finish up let's get the rest of this build up and uh we'll find out how many we've got and see what we need to use to collect everything so all the bells have been made they've been created and we have filled up the baler 
I got about $2,600 or 2,600 liters extra. That's totally okay. Let's see, how many bales did we create today? Only 16, okay, 16 square bales. Well, let's go in and let's find the easiest, best way to collect these bales. So let's go through, let's see. Well, there's one right there, the Arkusen, 16 square bales. That's pretty easy right there. Let's see, we've got another one right here. We've got the Stack Pro by Anderson, another 16. Ah, this one only does 14 bales. And then of course we have auto loads, which will do a whole lot more you know what we haven't used anderson stuff in a long time and because we've got dlc fever right now let's jump in here boom make sure this is the right one 16 square bells yes please let's go with a uh eh, we'll stick with a trailer board tire and forty five hundred dollars to lease perfectly fine with that probably won't even make forty five hundred dollars off all these bells we've got that boom but actually no we're gonna we're gonna make a whole lot more put that there not sure what i'm doing because we need it <laughs> We need a tractor to go get the darn thing, don't we? <laughs> let's go get it. So let's do this. Drop this out. Get it ready. Come on, go up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. Move, move, move. Tell you what, these tires look really good. I have noticed that. I do love the look of the trailer board tires. However, boop, got one. These on the back of here look really good. Eh, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe it's the uh, shader we're using or something. I don't know. You never know. So let's go through, let's get all these bells collected. We got 16 bells. We can hold exactly 16 bells. This is gonna auto do it for us. We don't have to do anything. It should pop it up. Yep, there it goes. Cool, let's keep rocking. As always, gotta get you a good thumbnail. And we'll pull forward and boop, got it. <laughs> so we have all 16 bells. I don't see any more bells anywhere around here. So now we need to find out where's the best price to sell straw. I'm gonna pull up here. Let's see. Oh, ooh, 100 at Bell Sales or 111 at the barn. Guess where we're going? We're going to the barn. So I'm just going along, minding my own business and realizing, I just asked uh, G-O-O-G-L-E, how many bill or how many liters we have right here? 800,000. What? Yeah, oh yeah, and uh, I have taken all of my doing math liberties and handed it over to the G-O-O-G-L-E home. <laughs> I can't say it or else it'll start messing with me. Like Alexa. Hey Alexa, play some cool music. Gotcha. <laughs> Love you guys. Sorry. Oh me. All right. So now we need to unlearn. <laughs> I'm sure there's at least one person right now going, no, Alexa, shut up. Quit playing and stop listening to DJ. If that's you, let me know down the comment section. I gotta know, man. I gotta know. This is the part I'm most concerned about right here because this is higher. Yep. Definitely much, much higher then our trigger is by about four bells. So I'm gonna drop that. We're gonna pull forward. We're gonna bring this back down and then I am literally going to ram it into there. Now I could do it nice and easy, but there's no point to do that because nobody wants to see that. So I'm gonna drop that off and I'm just gonna hit this full speed. Yes. <laughs> oh, some of the bells are at the top. Oh no. All right, uh, I guess we gotta do this the right way. Holy cow, 5,500 bucks per bell. Some money right there. All right, I gotta get up here. <laughs> Two of these bales, these poor things. Wonder if I could just two hand it. Yeah, yeah well, that worked. And, and it's gone. Is that all the bells? I said, that's gotta be at least most of them, right? Oh no, let me back up there. None of them kind of flew too far. Nope, all right. <laughs> that's great, now I can't get back up here. Darn it, let me back up. Come on, yes. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did today. Today was a good day, it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you aren't, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those in the comment section below. And if you got any ideas, stuff that you'd like to see here on Peterville Farm or any other map, let me know. All that being said, hope you have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.